Let's delve into the world of sales source formulas. If you're eager to harness the potential of sales source formulas, you're in the right spot. Formulas in Salesforce are like versatile tools that can perform calculations, assess conditions, and manipulate data directly within your Salesforce environment. All right, let's kick things off with formula fields. These are like your secret formula wizards. You can create custom fields that automatically calculate values based on formula expressions. Picture this, you want to know the age of a contact based on their birth date. No problem, just whip up a formula field and bam, you've got that age right there in the record. How cool is that? Now let's talk about validation rules. These are your data guardians. With validation rules, you can set criteria for data entry and make sure no incorrect data sneaks into your Salesforce world. Think of it as your trusty bouncer at the data party. For example, you can create a rule that says, hey, the close date of an opportunity should never be in the past. It's like having a data superhero protecting your records. Moving on to Flow Builder. This is where the real fun begins. You can use formulas as entry criteria for records to kickstart your flow. Imagine this, when an opportunity hit closed one and the amount is more than a whopping $100,000, you want to trigger something special. That's where formulas come in. They're like the magic words that open the flow gates. Reports and dashboards, folks. This is where you turn data into insights. Formulas here are your trusty sidekicks. You can use them to create custom summary fields and reveal hidden data gems. Let's say you want to calculate the total revenue from a bunch of opportunities. No sweat. Just craft a custom summary formula and voila, you've got your answer right on your dashboard. Last but not least, roll up summary fields. These are like your data calculators. They help you crunch numbers from related records in a master detail relationship. Imagine you want to know how many case records are linked to an account. A roll up summary field does the heavy lifting giving you the total count without breaking a sweat. Those are some of the ways you can use formulas in Salesforce. But how do you get started? Well, before you do anything, it's essential to get familiar with key operators and formula functions. For starters, we have math operators. These are your basic mathematical tools, plus for addition, minus for subtraction, asterisk for multiplication, and slash for division. Super handy for all your math needs in Salesforce. Let's say you have a custom object in Salesforce called product with two fields, price and quantity. You want to create a formula field called total amount that calculates the total cost of the product based on the price and quantity. Next up, logical operators. These little guys help you evaluate conditions. Double ampersand for and, and double vertical bars for or and explanation mark for not. They're your decision making buddies when working with data. Let's say you're working with the Salesforce case object, which represents customer support cases. You want to create a formula field that calculates the priority of a case based on its age, how long it's been open, and the type of issues it relates to. Text operators are up next. Use the ampersand to join or concatenate strings together. Plus, you can even use the plus sign for concatenation as well. These operators let you work magic with text data. Let's say you're working with the Salesforce account objects and you want to create a formula field that combines the account's name with its location to create a custom account code. You can use text operators to concatenate the name and location. Date and time functions are essential when dealing with temporal data. Today gives you the current date and now gives you both the date and time. You can even calculate time differences or add days to a date with these functions. Let's say you're working with the Salesforce opportunity object and you want to create a formula field that calculates the number of days remaining until the opportunity's close date. You can use date and time functions for this. Logical functions are like your logic helpers. If is a superstar here. It lets you make decisions based on conditions. If something's true, do this. If it's false, do that. Simple, right? Let's consider a scenario where you want to create a formula field on the Salesforce case object that calculates a priority level based on certain conditions. You can use logical functions for this. Math functions step up your math game. Round helps you round numbers to specific decimal places and ABS gives you absolute values. These come in handy for more advanced math tasks. Let's say you want to calculate the average revenue per opportunity for an account. You can use the AVG function to achieve this. 
Text functions are your go-to for text manipulation. LEN tells you the length of a string. Left and right help you extract parts of text. And substitute lets you replace text within a string. Perfect for text wranglers. Let's say you want to extract the domain, which is the part after the at symbol from the email address of a contact. This can easily be done using the write function. Summary functions are your friends when summarizing data. Sum adds up values, count tallies the number of records, and AVG calculates the average value. Great for reports and dashboards. Let's say you want to create a report that calculates the total opportunity amount for each stage of the opportunity. You can create a custom summary formula field in your report like this. Lastly, we have advanced functions. These are more specialized. VLOOKUP helps you find values in a table. Hyperlink creates clickable links and case lets you tackle complex conditional logic like a pro. Let's say you have a custom object called product with fields for product price and product category. You want to calculate a discount for products in a specific category based on their prices. If the product belongs to the electronics category and its price is above $500, you want to apply a 10% discount. Otherwise, no discount should be applied. You can create a formula field with a formula like this. There are some key things about formula fields you need to keep in mind. First of all, formula fields are not editable. Remember, formula fields are not editable directly. If you want to change what they display, you'll need to tweak the formula. Next up, formula fields are very versatile. Formula fields can be used for all sorts of things, from simple math to displaying data, from related records and even showing pictures. Lastly, there's no issue with historical data with formula fields. Once you create a formula field, it automatically populates for existing records, ensuring you have consistent data. I also want to run through some best practices when it comes to working with formulas in Salesforce. First thing first, before you start crafting those formulas, it's crucial to have a game plan. Think about what you want to achieve with your formulas. Having a clear goal in mind will make your formula creating process much smoother. If you're new to formulas, don't rush into complex expressions right away. Start with simple formulas and gradually work your way up. It's like learning to walk before you run. Experiment in a sandbox environment to test your formulas without affecting your live data. Adding comments and documentation to your formulas is a smart move. Not only will it help you remember what your formula does, but it also assists your team members who may need to work with or maintain these formulas in the future. Testing is key. Always thoroughly test your formulas in a sandbox or testing environment before deploying them to your production environment. This ensures they work as intended and don't cause any unexpected issues. Think about error handling in your formulas. Anticipate potential issues and use functions like is blank, if or case to gracefully handle different scenarios. It's all about keeping your formulas robust. Finally, formulas can impact system performance, especially in large data sets. Optimize your formulas to be as efficient as possible. This not only ensures smooth operations, but also avoids performance bottlenecks. And there you have it folks. These operators and functions are your trusty tools in Salesforce formulas. With these tools in your arsenal, you'll be ready to create formula fields that work like a charm in Salesforce. So let's start conjuring some formulas and making your Salesforce experience even more magical.